First, Chicago's gang war takes a huge hit. The suspected patriarch of the infamous gangster disciples busted. What it means for the violence and drug trade on the streets. In all, 35 suspected gang members were arrested today. Chicago police and federal agents seized illegal guns as well as heroin, crack cocaine, and other narcotics. Prosecutors called the 55-year-old leader one of the last, quote, patriarchs of the gangster disciples. The group once had thousands of members, used murder and torture to control $100 million in annual drug sales and even wielded political influence in some parts of town. But two decades of federal and local law enforcement have changed all of that. Police say 80% of shootings and murders in Chicago are gang related. Crime that has our city at a tipping point. And tonight we take a closer look at whether today's arrest will make things better or worse for people who live in gang ravaged neighborhoods. We begin with political editor Mike Flannery. Jeff, the story told in the 178 pages of this federal criminal complaint file today alleged that the gangster disciples are still violent and dangerous, but they are no longer as unified as they once were. Prosecutors said the gang faction run by Johnny Herndon, also known as Goo, collected close to $2 million a year. They sold heroin, crack cocaine, and other narcotics wholesale to allied street gang factions and offered retail sales at two open-air drug spots on Jackson and on Kilbourne. Investigators said business was booming because customers from the suburbs in downtown could come and go quickly via the Eisenhower Expressway. This is a faction that was already operational up and running on Chicago's west side and, and plaguing that neighborhood in a way that is dangerous and unacceptable. Listening on wiretaps, federal agents and Chicago police got a rare glimpse into the bloody carnage that is devastating such neighborhoods. After a member of the gang was killed in June, Herndon's top assistant was overheard apparently plotting to take revenge. Police moved immediately to arrest him, finding him with a semi-automatic Glock 357 and another 357 revolver. It's about getting the right people off the street at the right place at the right time, and this gang clearly was getting the right people off the off the street at the right time. Authorities called the 55 year old Herndon patriarch of the gangster disciples, but his alleged drug money and power paled in comparison to Larry Hoover. Self-styled king of the GDs, Hoover's now a convicted murderer serving six life sentences. Before the feds brought him down, Hoover controlled drug sales of at least $125 million a year. He devoted some of that cash to a rebranding campaign claiming GD stood for growth and development. The gang bankrolled its own political pack, organized protests, formed a music promotion company, and distributed a line of ghetto prisoner clothing. And we all know who the true victims are in these types of uh, uh, operations, and that it are the law-abiding citizens and the children that have to endure and live in these communities. Authorities said today that uh, the arrests are the uh, first big uh, joint local and Fed investigation of a violent street gang. Everyone from Attorney General Eric Holder, who came to town last month, and Senator Mark Kirk, who began demanding this last year, have been asking for it. And, Dawn, I think it's reasonable for the people involved here to claim they prevented at least one uh, shooting, mm -hmm. and uh, it could have easily become a murder. Wow. All right, Mike Flannery, thank you. Jeff.